Look at the library. Look at that. Why would you destroy the library? Oh my God. This is crazy. We're in St. Paul. We're on our way to go protest in Minneapolis. They're supposed to be doing a peaceful protest in downtown. St. Paul looks like a war zone. This is the purge. I don't know what nobody says. This is the purge. Look at this shit. Look at the fire. What in the world? I can't believe this is my city right now. Good to see. Good time. Yeah, I already know, man. We try to make it through. That's it. Be careful. Everybody's out here. Look at the police. It's a standout. I'm surprised he recognized through the mask. It's a whole standout. This is crazy. This is crazy. I cannot believe they fucked the midway up. The whole midway's on fire. The midway is on fire right now. Oh my God. Look at this shit. When you get a chance, Lena, when you get a chance, will you take a steel shot? 400. Have a good yeah, just take a still shot and send it to me. Do y'all see the fires? No, yes, you, you're gonna help me. Because everybody's wanting still shots on Facebook. This is crazy. We gotta get ready to go. This energy is bad. Let's go. I can't stay here. I'm about to. I can't stay here. I gotta go. This is some purge shit. I gotta go. This energy is demonic. Where did she go? Lena! Let's go. I can't stay here. Come on, they're protesting from the other side. Yeah, there is getting rowdy. George Floyd! It is getting rowdy out here. Don't go across the street. It's a standoff with the police. It's about to be a standoff. Lena, let's go. I'm out. No, I can't. I gotta go. No. The energy is too bad. Do you feel the crowd? Let's go. Nope, let's go. I can't. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I can't stand that crowd. That crowd is getting agitated. They're screaming and shit. I gotta go. I just came to see, you know, what was going on, what the fuck was burnt up. I gotta get up out of here. This is crazy. I, I feel like I'm in the in a movie right now. Helicopters in the sky and shit. Yeah, that energy is getting bad. It's people in cars. It's just, you can't see. Look, they just threw something. They just threw something. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm out. I'm out. Fuck this shit. My homeboy's calling. I'll be back. Yeah, that was crazy.
we're safe. I just wanted to come on live, let you guys know we're safe. I have my friend. She's good. I'm great. <laughs> she was like, come on. No, like, um, a few of my media friends have flown in from Atlanta. So they're all here in the Twin Cities. So we were going to Minneapolis to go meet up with them because they met, they went to the big meeting that they had at the headquarters um, with the mayor, the FBI, about everything that's going on. So they were there recording footage and they're gonna give me some footage that they have recorded. Right now, people are really upset because they haven't heard anything about the charges. So as we're going out there, because there's supposed, there was supposed to be another protest in downtown. So he wanted to go and go film some of that as well, but he wanted to know where to go. So that's why we were heading, you know, to go get him and go take him to where it was gonna be at. And so as we're driving on the freeway, we see all this smoke. Mm. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, I already knew St. Paul had been looted and all that shit was going on, but we didn't expect them to start, you know, like these fires that you could see from the freeway. So we pulled over, like, what the hell is going on out here? And so as we got closer, that energy was crazy. That energy was crazy. That, like, it feels like the purge. Mm. Um, I couldn't take it. I felt anger in that crowd. Mm. I felt sadness. I felt bad for the police. I mm. felt bad for the people. My energy is just so fucking all over the place, you know? And once that other crowd was coming from the other side, those other agitators, I said, I'm done. I'm cool. We were only there for like three minutes. I had just turned on my life, so I hadn't been there for, you know, hours and shit. Mm. We were only there for like three minutes. But once I started feeling the, the crowd, the energy shift, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. You know, I didn't come here for that. We just stopped to kind of see what the hell was going on in that area. And that is literally right across from my high school. Mm. That is where I went to high school, in that area. So, I mean, when I tell you it's bad enough, the south side, where my childhood was at, now St. Paul is fucked up. This is where my teenage years were spent. Mm. So it's like, I'm, I'm getting it from all angles. I'm getting it from all angles right now. My childhood home, destroyed. Teenage home, destroyed. The Midway was like such a big part of our teenage years. Anybody who went to fucking St. Paul Central, mm -hmm. that shit is gone. Mm -hmm. That shit is gone. I'm seeing pictures that people are sending us on Snapchat. They looted everything. Now they're setting fires. There's about to be complete and total anarchy and um, all I can do is pray for my city. Like, I've cried enough tears. Like, I just, I've cried. I, I, already, I just already had an emotional breakdown. I, I, it's like, I don't even know if I can cry anymore. Like, I'm so fucking drained right now. Like, I cannot believe this is, like, what's going on. All we can do is just sit here and pray. This is, like, I feel like I'm in a movie, you guys. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't understand. This is, like, the purge. Come on, this is like some predictive programming. What are the chances that we're all having to wear masks because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. but then in the movie The Purge, everybody had on masks and shit. And That's did you crazy. see the mask that the people had on, the scariest That's mask? Right. I have on a fucking medical mask. Motherfuckers got masks with fangs on, and yep. I felt like I was in a fucking movie, you guys. Like, that shit was crazy, yo. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I have family all over the Twin Cities. The police burnt down the auto zone. Nobody's seen that. Yeah, it's definitely predictive programming, you guys. Like, I'm just, I'm mentally just drained. Me, we just been just stressed and, you know, everybody's worried about their families and the, the, the resources right now in the city are strapped. Okay, which I don't realize about the Twin Cities. Let me explain it to y'all from somebody who's here, not these Mushamal people who are just flying in. Usually when you have a major metropolitan city, the next city is like four hours away. So like, let's take LA, the next major city, let's just say San Diego, that's about four hours away. That's how it is in most cities. In Charlotte, Raleigh's about four hours away, right? In Minnesota, we have two major metropolitan cities the only thing that divides us is the river. Mm -hmm. They're 10 minutes apart. So you have St. Paul on one side of the river, you have Minneapolis. 
These are two major cities right now dealing with rioting, looting, mm. fires. We're we're at I, I feel like we're at a breaking point. The, we're trying to put out fires in South Minneapolis. Now we're having to put out fires in St. Paul. Mm. People are fucking shit up for no reason. And you know, like I said, I, I, I get it, but miss me with the shit with everybody who's not here trying to tell me, oh, black folks are tired. We're all tired. We're all tired of the killings. But it's very easy for y'all to say that from the comfort of your home in Cali, in New York, mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We have to live this. Mm -hmm. We have to drive by these places. Once, once everybody leaves and the media goes back and the story starts to die down and the next hot topic mm -hmm. is what's viral, we still have to live with this. We still have to figure out what the fuck is about to happen in our community mm -hmm. because they burnt it down because they're mad. Yeah. I understand the anger and y'all can call me a coon and all that other bullshit, feel free, but this is not the way to go. People are literally destroying stuff just to destroy stuff. You have anarchists who have come into our city to, you know, destroy over there on Lake Street. They were destroying the auto zone. They were destroying the target. They were coming through with chainsaws. I've never even seen a chainsaw in my real life. I've only seen chainsaws in movies. They were out there with fucking chainsaws. These anarchists, they came prepared. Get goggles, chainsaws, you know, like gas masks. They came prepared to start anarchy. Let's break shit, let's unlock shit, because we know these folks are gonna run in and go get stuff. And y'all are not even looking at the bigger picture. It's a setup. Mm. People are live streaming their crimes. Like, do y'all think that when this is all said and done, they're not gonna go back <coughs> and look at all the footage that y'all are posting on social media, bragging, and they're not gonna match your faces and come knocking on your door? Mm. Like, come on, grown adults. I woke up this morning, she caught me, my brother caught me. They're like, they're fucking up the midway. Mm -hmm. They done looted the pawn shop. Mm -hmm. It's like, what, like, what is going on? What mm -hmm. is going on? Like, why are we doing this? Like, I get the hurt, I get the animosity. I Trust me, I get it. St. Paul, y'all didn't even go this hard for Philando. Mm -hmm. But y'all, it's almost like y'all just looking for an excuse to loot. Like, I get the South Side being upset. I don't agree with it, but I could even get it because it happened in their community. Come on. Really? Sunray's been looted. Signal Hills has been looted. The Midway is tore the fuck up. Mm -hmm. At this point, a lot of people are doing shit for social media. That That's how I feel. You have to understand the protests won't work. They need change. It's like the Joker in the movie, The Dark Knight. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a bunch of anarchists. When I tell you that vibe, and y'all know I'm an empath. So I'm like soaking in so many different energies. I got sick and got the spitting up, throwing up once we got away from there. It was so much just weird energy and hurt, anger. It's a buildup. It's a buildup. This is bigger. This is bigger than George Floyd. I don't care what anybody says. This is way, way bigger. This is a buildup. And this toxicity is spreading. I'm getting phone calls from people in Ohio talking about they're out there, you know, rioting and protesting. People in LA, different cities. This is spreading. This is not just about George. George was the basically the 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 powder the, the powder keg. He was like the, the final thing that just lit it. This is a lot to do with COVID-19, people being on lockdown, people not knowing when they're gonna get their next check, mm. their jobs, but burning down the city mm. is not gonna make your job come back any quicker. Mm. We're about to be under martial law. We're about to be under martial law. Right now in the suburbs, they shut everything down. There are military tanks right now in my city where I stay, in the suburbs. We can't go to Walmart. We can't go to Target. If you didn't go grocery shopping, that shit's a fucking wrap. Mm -hmm. It's a wrap. Everything is shut down right now. I've, I have not heard helicopters since I moved out of L.A. Mm -hmm. I would hear helicopters every day in L.A. I feel like I'm in L.A. right now. Helicopters have been just buzzing 
around our area all day. All day. It's now getting dark. It's it's getting bad. That's why I was like, you know what? I called um the media guy. I said I'm we're not coming. I changed my mind. This energy is too crazy. I want to see the footage that you got. <clears throat> I'm glad he was at the press conference. You know, they were able to ask some good questions to the mayor and things like that. But I'm I'm not risking it. You know what I'm saying? So I just told I said we're not we're not. If St. Paul is this bad, I can only imagine what's going on in Minneapolis. So we turned around. That's all I needed to see. Once I seen that chaotic energy and that fire, like I said, we're only there for three minutes. That whole live stream, that was the extent that we were there. When y'all see me running, I got the hell up out of there. We're back home now. I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's going to be under martial law. We're going to be under martial law soon enough. They're already shutting shit down. Um, I think what they're going to end up doing, because there's a lot of barriers. They're gonna, they're, what they're, what they're going to do in a minute is barricade St. Paul from Minneapolis. They're about to shut. You know what I mean? Because they they're not going to want anybody going across that bridge. They don't want Minneapolis people coming over here with the bullshit. They don't want St. Paul people. They're about to shut it. They're going to enclose mm -hmm. the city. So depending on what side of the river you're on, that's where you're going to stay. Where you're gonna stay. Mm -hmm. You know it's bad when my baby daddy hit me up. <laughs> like, are you okay? Be safe. <laughs> okay? That's how real it is. I'm like, damn, he cares. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. The Midway is like, I don't know how I can... The Midway is like the shopping center. It's like the epicenter. <clears throat> of St. Paul. So there's like a sh lot of shops. That's where the stadium is. They just built the soccer stadium. Um, tattoo shops. It's like, you know, good food. It's like a like an eatery type place. So that's what the Midway is. Everybody in the Twin Cities knows where that's at. It's almost like that, that um, where I was at yesterday during those rights in South Minneapolis, uh, Lake and Hiawatha that little center where they had shopping and all that, that's the same version. That's basically St. Paul's version, the Midway. But it's the biggest one. <clears throat> Baby daddy checking up on you? Yeah, he did. He, he sent the whole text. I was surprised. But, yeah, I mean, like, all my friends have been calling. And, you know, just thank you guys for, like, the, just the prayers, the well wishes. You know, I'm not – I'm y'all know me. I don't play that. I'm big on energy. And when I'm not – when something's not feeling right, I'm out. You know, but like I said, I just, I was just so shook. It just overwhelmed me because that area is where I went to high school. My teenage home where I grew up is not even three minutes from those fires. The bridges here, our homes and stuff were in that vicinity. The fires were right here. So when you go into your, to, to a space where you grew up from the time you were like, you know, 11 until 18, and you're like, I've never even seen a fire over here let alone the whole sky is just black. We were seeing those dark flames from like downtown St. Paul. Cause we're like, is that, are those fire flames? Are that smoke? We were in downtown St. Paul seeing that shit. And as we're getting closer, it's getting darker and darker. And it was like, what is going on? Like it's one thing to loot, now y'all are destroying shit? On. Yeah. My mama can't even go get her medicine because of this. You're in St. Paul. <clears throat> it's a lot of people affected. It's a lot of people affected. What? Why does he keep calling? A lot of people affected right now. It's like, it's really sad. It's really sad. I see the only thing that needed to burn was the police station. Yeah. I'm just, I'm really tired of like the agitators. Like I finally slept today. I slept for a while. Um, our sleep pattern has been off ever since everything happened but I finally did sleep and it's just like this this is going down in the history books of course you know what I'm saying this is going down in the history books but your house is destroyed oh I'm so sorry to hear that mm. they're burning the station yeah I live in St. Paul, not too far from the Midway area. Yeah, be safe. The Midway, I'm just, I was just blown away. I was blown away once we got down there. Because you know how you're just walking, like, what is going on? Like, you know, where's all this coming from? Because we're seeing people near the bridge, and it's not too far from the bridge. So it's only like a, you know, like a one to two minute walk. And as we got, it was just these protesters, these police, and it's like a stand up. It looked like a movie. 
I've been on so many movie sets from when I lived in LA, it almost looked like the, a movie on a movie set. Like when we were doing Straight Outta Compton and we were doing the scenes with the police versus the people, that's what it reminded me of. But I had to remind myself, no, this is not the Straight Outta Compton movie set. This is real life. And once it started getting bad, I was like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so worried about you, T. I've been thinking about you all day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like I said, we're prayed up here. They're acting up on Slosh, on Slosson and uh, Crenshaw in L.A. Oh, yeah, they said there's riots in Chicago, too. Riots in Chicago. That's what I'm yeah. saying. This is bigger than Minnesota. This energy, this anarchy, this was some planned shit. I told you guys on my live stream, on YouTube, that was a sacrifice. Ooh. And now it's, I'm a preach. You, I, you know I'm a preach. You know how I get. I'm I don't do this shit on live, but you know how me and you and everybody else talk. Mm. That was a sacrifice. Y'all mm. go back and look at that man's picture mm. of that police officer. Look at his soulless, demonic mm. eyes. Look how he couldn't even physically move his body to remove his knee off that man's neck. Look how that man's eyes, uh, George Floyd, were bugging out. You could see sheer tear in his eyes. This was a sacrifice. That was a transfer of energy. Y'all don't want me to go deep. That was a transfer of energy. And that fucking transfer of energy got my city going crazy right mm. now. I'm getting real esoterical because I'm mm. pissed. Mm. That is my childhood, teenage years in the midway where I spent. Mm. I mean, this is insane. And now this, this energy, this toxicity is spreading around the country. I'm getting calls from people in Ohio about riots out there. People in L.A. are calling me. Chicago. This ain't no joke. And all these people talking all this mush mouth. Oh, they're tired. Let them do. It's very easy to say that from the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm. You're not down there risking your life. Mm -hmm. You're not down there burning and looting. So for y'all, it's entertainment. Motherfuckers got popcorn and shit. This is entertainment to y'all. But when that sun comes up in the morning... And y'all see what y'all did to the Midway Sunray when y'all can't even go and get milk mm -hmm. and medicine, Ooh. even in the suburbs. Don't get comfortable, people in the suburbs. They're shutting shit down. And they moved the National Guard to the suburbs because one thing you're not going to do is fuck up white people's money in the suburbs. Y'all can burn all that shit down in the hood. Y'all's not going to Maplewood. They're not going to let you into Woodbury. Mm -hmm. You're not fucking up nothing out there. They have military out there right now. Don't let you burn your shit down in the hood. You're not going to the burbs with that, period. That was a transfer of energy. And so all y'all getting comfortable and thinking, well, that, that's not my city. Oh, Minneapolis is acting up. You better hope it's not your city because it's a lot of pissed off people. People been sitting in the house for three months, marinating on this shit, pissed off, trying to figure out this is a real pandemic or a plandemic. People are angry right now. So you better hope it's not your city next. So all that cheering and hooping and hollering and, yep, Minnesota's doing the damn thing. And, you know, y'all's looking at this like a movie, like it's entertainment. This is real life. Mm. This is real life. Mm -hmm. I have friends right now. There, there's no job for them to go back to mm. after the pandemic is over. Mm. Because y'all have burnt down jobs. Everybody's mad at Target. Why? Do you know how many jobs that Target has given to black people in the Twin Cities? Mm -hmm. when, when, when corporate America shut down and said everybody either has to stay home, when um, <clears throat> restaurants shut down and nobody could work, it was companies like Target and Walmart that said, if you're not able to work and you're not able to get unemployment, we're looking for people. Come apply to stock shelves. They were still giving out jobs in the community. Mm -hmm. So missing with the bullshit about Target. Oh, it doesn't matter because they can just build another target. Yeah, because they're, they're really going to want to rebuild in the same area that was destroyed. Do y'all right. understand or do y'all mm -hmm. just type shit on social media for mm -hmm. attention? Do you understand it took 21 fucking years for the L.A. riots for them to even build a hospital in the same area where the L.A. riots took place? Yeah. Do you understand that my friends who had to live through the L.A. riots, they still have nightmares? They're still traumatized because their whole childhood they have to walk by abandoned, burnt up buildings mm -hmm. as a constant reminder? Mm -hmm. Because the community said, the, 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 the government out there in L.A. said, we're not fixing shit. Y'all burnt it down. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. Mm. My homeboy said the barbershop that he went to as a child, 
never came back. A majority of those businesses never came back. And think about it. If you have insurance on your business and they pay you because your business was burnt down, do you think that even if you wanted to rebuild, do you know how much your insurance would double? And you know how much your insurance would be like, you're dumb. You think we're about to insure you in the same location that mm -hmm. caused the damage? Mm -hmm. So what you think we're made of money? Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of time those businesses, they don't come back because they're uninsurable. That's a high risk area. Y'all is not even looking at this from a common sense point of view. People are just looking at it, you know, just emotionally. Oh, well, oh, well, they need to see, you know, they need to feel pain like we feel pain. They're not feeling pain because it's not the same thing. They'll be okay. But the community, the people who need the jobs, the people who are struggling, they're not going to be okay. And that's real talk. That's the discussion that people don't want to have. No, she's not sighing. She's agreeing. She's saying, mm, because I'm speaking facts. He was like, who's that sighing in the background? She's not sighing. She knows how I get when I preach. It's, it's sad. Mm. They feel happiness because they're privileged. Emotional response. We are hurting each other. Yes, it's a very emotional response. Racist people are going to use this against us. They are. Hurt more black people than anything. I live near Detroit. There are still areas that are empty and belated from the riots back in the 60s. Yeah. People don't understand. There's a Minneapolis is on fire. <clears throat> people don't understand that, you know, once destruction like that happens in a community, it's a stain on that community. And it turns people on the outside looking in. It turns them off. That's why a lot of those communities in L.A., they just basically written them off. They don't care. They don't care. They don't go out their way to give them funding and to, you know, to put them in the budget because they feel like they're a bunch of savages. Y'all burnt down your own neighborhoods. We don't care. And that's what people are not doing. They're not looking at the big picture. They're letting these social media activists hype them up. That's what they're doing. What I saw tonight, I would have never... They, Imagine. They what is that? Where is that? Yeah. Minneapolis. Oh, my. They, wow. They set it on fire. Yep. They just set the 3rd yep. Street Precinct on fire. Mm. But my question is, why was that not done yesterday? Y'all burnt all the stores. And then now y'all come. You, it's just insane. Nothing should be set on fire. You know, it's one thing to loot. Like, looting is disgusting enough. It's one thing to loot because you can always replace items. Items are replaceable. But then to flood stores, I'm seeing stores that are just flooded, water being wasted, to set fires. That means you're purposely trying to destroy the backbone of that community. You don't want that community to come back. You purposely want to kill those people in that community economically. Spiritually. Physically, because people can't get their medications. Pharmacists, people went, did you see how they went and like took like the oxys and shit out of Target? Mm -hmm. Ransacked the pharmacies? Oh, it's sad. It's sad. I'm, I'm watching literally my Facebook feed <clears throat> of people in, in the Twin Cities and I'm just like, just shaking my head at the shit that I'm seeing. You could not have told me this when we were kids. We'd, we'd have to, that we would ever experience anything like this. It's just like, it's, it's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking. The cop fled to Florida. Oh, I believe it. I've been saying that the whole time. He's not in that house. Everybody talking about, oh, y'all should be protesting in Oakdale. He's not in that, that man been gone. He been gone. They said, my, my, my media friend who was at the press conference said that they're asking the public to submit more videos. If you were there and you happen to film, you know, Mr. George Floyd being killed, please send us the video. Why do we need to send y'all more video? There's two angles that are going viral on social media. The main one that caused all this. And then the other angle where you see four cops on him. How much more footage do we need? Charge these cops and get them in jail. Because if, this, if the shoe was on the other foot, 
he'd be in jail. If this was a civilian who did something like that to a police officer, they couldn't just hide out in Florida in their house in Oakdale. They'd be in jail. The marshals would have came and snatched them up. And a lot of people are upset like, oh, all the police are out there at this man's house in Oakdale because they're trying to protect him. That's bullshit. Can y'all use common sense again, internet? They're not out there to protect him. They're out there to protect the neighborhood. If they're not out there to protect that house, people are trying to burn down that, burn down that house. Do you realize how close the, home, the homes are in Oakdale? If that house catches fire, the neighbor who had nothing to do with the fucking killing, their house is going to go up in smoke. This neighbor who has nothing to do with the killing, their house is going to go up in smoke. That is why the police are out there. Because they want to make sure that that neighborhood does not end up in fire. That is a neighborhood of innocent people. That's why they're out there. It's not necessarily to protect him. You're dumb as fuck if you feel like that man is in that house. From the moment that shit went viral, Buddy got out of Dodge. I can bet you any damn money. He's not in that house, but y'all are out there protesting and agitating the police and, you know, trying to create chaos in a residential neighborhood. Them folks been stuck in their house for the past three days, scared to come out. I mean, this the city is going crazy. It don't matter if you're in the suburbs, if you're in Minneapolis, if you're in St. Paul. St. Paul had no business waking up today and just being on this ratchet shit. They just woke up and said, we're just going to loot shit. Mm. They had no business doing what they did in the Midway. I was so pissed when you called me. Then my brother called me and he was like, because he was coming from work. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I'm literally watching 100 dudes just storm into the pawn shop. I'm like, are you serious? He said, I'm literally on the corner right now coming from work. 100 dudes just stormed into the pawn shop. And they're running out with shit. Like, I'm, like, literally cried out. I'm cried out at this point. The Asian cop guy's been gone, too. Yeah, they're all gone. If y'all think them cops are sitting in Oakdale, y'all are silly. Get out them damn people's neighborhoods. Them people ain't got shit to do. I, I would be pissed off if that was my neighbor and all these motherfuckers was camped out in my yard and shit. I'd be hot. I'm running bitches over. Get out my driveway, bitch. I pay taxes here. People out here doing way too damn much looking for attention, filming the shit. Like that man is really in that house. Y'all done set up a whole, a whole protest fucking with the neighbors who have nothing to do with nothing. Did someone get shot at the pawn shop? That pawn shop, that was the one over south. Did, did the charge it work? Yeah, he did. He went over there to loot. I don't know what to say. I mean, it is what it is. They don't play over South. And he got word, the, you know how they do over South. The pawn shop owner over South, he got word that they were coming to loot his shit. So he strapped up and he just, he got the shooting. And he shot him and the guy died right down the street. Again, they had no business there looting. The pawn shop that has been, you know, part of the community when you're broke and struggling, you take your fucking DVD up there and mm -hmm. your gold necklaces and shit like that, and they give you money. Oh, you love them then. And then you turn on them by, you know what I'm saying, going and looting their stuff, stealing watches, and, you know, y'all are out on the street hawking shit. It's sad. That wouldn't make me want to come back as a business owner. At this point, the looting, Auntie, do you think it's some evil plan? <clears throat> Honey, this shit that I'm seeing... What I felt in that crowd, you seen how, how messed up I was after that shit. Mm -hmm. What I felt in that crowd was dark energy. It's definitely an energy. That whole situation, I know I be sounding crazy to y'all, but I don't give a fuck. That entire situation was a sacrifice. It was a transfer of energy. And that energy has spread across this city. They closed all the targets. 24 they closed everything. 24 targets. All the targets in the Twin Cities are yep, closed. Are closed until further notice. Until further notice. So good luck. Good luck. I need my medication. I, I don't even know when I'm going to be able to get my meds. Thank you. But again, we're tired. Thank you. So let, let's hope I, you know, I, I got a refill. So let, you know, who knows when they're going to open up. So hopefully my medicine will last me the rest of the month. God forbid I need pain medicine. The hospitals are shut down too. So while y'all out here doing stupid shit tonight, if one of y'all gets hurt or shot, just know there is no hospital. 
The hospitals have shut down. Martial law is coming. You call 911, there's no 911 because the, the, the right now, everything is stretched so thin because y'all decided to start fucking up shit in St. Paul. When, when really, as bad as it is in Minneapolis, Minneapolis was begging St. Paul police yesterday to come and help. Like, we need help. <clears throat> this situation's out of control. St. Paul didn't want no parts of it, and I get that. I get it. Because they feel like, you know what, this story is viral, it's too much, we don't want to risk our officers getting involved in some, you know, bullshit. So I get why St. Paul was like, nah, y'all need to figure this out, Minneapolis. But now that the people in St. Paul didn't showed out, looted, rioted, and did all that stupid stuff, now all the resources that could have went to help Minneapolis... St. Paul has to deal with now all these little fires and looting and, and just all this mess. We drove past the holiday when we were trying to, you know, go back home, completely looted. Police are in there, glass everywhere, just shattered. The gas station just shattered. Shit's crazy. My God, I'm so sorry. This is so much. I can't do nothing but pray for you. My heart hurts for everyone. What if... You, I don't know what he said. What, what if you go into labor or have a heart attack? Yeah, you're on your own, people. You're, you're literally on your own. Good luck calling 911. On our way back, we probably saw like eight fire trucks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trying to put out these fires. Good luck. They're not responding. And honestly, I don't know if I would even blame them. A lot of cops are hurting too. Good cops. And they're mad because again, it's a, it's a stain on them. It's a stain on, you know, on all cops. That situation was just so evil the more I just think about it. I would have never thought that that situation would lead us to what we just witnessed tonight. When I sent you that video, did you think like two days later the whole midway would look like that on um, fire and we would look like we're in the fucking purge unbelievable when my brother sent me that video that morning and he was texting because he texted me early like at seven like t did you see the video i was asleep so i woke up at like you know i wake up at like around noon and i'm like what video and you know and i went to go click on it and i was just like i could not believe what i was watching but i would have never thought from watching that video we'd be here i would have never thought that I've never seen anything like this. This to me, and I'm not trying to compare and be like, oh, you know, this is worse than that, but I think this is just as bad, if not worse, than the LA riots. Mm -hmm. Because at least in the LA riots, it was that particular small area. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with two major cities mm -hmm. that are under like, just it, it's, it's chaos. It's chaos right now. Two major cities, the Twin Cities, both on fire. Everything has always happened in leap year, especially if people are not ready for what's to come next. They're still going to not take accountability. The problem is not the police brutality, it's white supremacy. You saw the white face. He was so demonic. Mm -hmm. Corona was never a problem. White people made y'all think it was. Can you speak on, I don't know who Mike Freeman is. I just said the same thing this morning. T isn't defending white supremacy. Get your mush mouth. Yeah, anybody saying I'm defending white supremacy can suck a dick. I can't read all these comments. I don't, you know, care. But I'm not defending anything, you know, because the main ones who are mush mouthing and talking shit, bitch, y'all's not out here doing anything. So you're in my comment section typing. So you're you're not about that life. You're not down there in St. Paul doing a standoff with the police or missing with the bush mouth bullshit about people support white supremacy. Anybody with common sense knows I don't support white supremacy and I call that shit out any chance I get. So whoever wrote that, suck a dick, bitch, and get off my live. Go do something more productive. Black people stop looting and demand that the laws change. George and the cop who killed him work together as security. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. They said the, the, he, he worked security, so maybe he didn't know them. Mm. They laughed and they said, facts. I was snapping a minute. I just, I don't have time for the bullshit because everybody's tough on the internet. Everybody's talking all these shoulda, woulda, coulda. Well, if it was me, if I was there, if I was in Minneapolis, but you're not. You're not. You're on my live stream. So missing with the, if you were there, you'd be doing this, and I'd be getting all types of shit, and I don't care because I'm tired. Sit down. 
But let's see when it comes to your city, if you're going to be down there riding and setting fires. Let's see how about that like you are when it comes to your city or if you're just going to be on social media trolling. Because, you know, that's a lot easier. They're not the ones that come outside because of people protesting. It's the man that's there. Save this live. I'll save it. Mm -hmm. Stuffing, what is that? Stuffing their face in drama. Yeah, we're in the car. We're in the car. You ready to go, ma'am? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm dropping her off. Thank you. I'll call you in a little bit. You're talking about in the morning. I'll call you in like 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Do you think George Floyd was selected by chance as a sacrifice? I don't know, but it's something. It's something definitely going on. The same person needs to troll their assemblyman and push for change. In St. Paul, they looted a school, a fucking school, yeah. Yeah. They messed up a lot of stuff, it's crazy. Let me go ahead. I'm about to get off of here because I got. I was dropping her off. I'm about to go back to my house. So I'll talk to y'all later, but I'll save this live so y'all can um, see it. So bye.